As the chaos spread, black communities found themselves the target of brutal attacks. Working-class white rioters, initially protesting the draft, quickly turned their rage on black people and symbols of their political, economic, and social power. But these riots were not just about the draft. They were a cauldron of anti-black, anti-rich, and anti-republican sentiments. This tumultuous chapter in history highlighted the North's racial tensions during the Civil War, as working-class laborers feared the influx of African-American workers from the South. Employers exploited these fears, using black workers as strike breakers. The New York City draft riots weren't isolated events. Cities like Boston, Detroit, and Chicago also experienced similar unrest, driven by anger at the draft and the privilege of the wealthy to buy their way out. As these cities erupted in chaos, the consequences reached far beyond their streets. The failure to enforce the draft would have starved the Union Army of crucial manpower, and the riots underscored the depth of opposition to the war effort in the North. The events also served as a grim reminder of the racial tensions in a country fighting to end slavery. These draft riots were more than just historical footnotes. They were the crucible of America's past, where anger, fear, and violence collided in a cityscape ablaze with turmoil. Welcome to another episode of Aggressive Intelligence, a channel where we talk about history that is not taught in schools. We would like to thank our subscribers for supporting our channel. And if you are new here, we hope you enjoy learning as much as we do. So sit back, relax, let's get into it. The New York City Draft Riots, also known as the Manhattan Draft Riots, were a series of violent disturbances that occurred in Lower Manhattan from July 13th to July 16th, 1863. The riots were the result of white working-class discontent with new laws passed by Congress that year to draft men to fight in the ongoing American Civil War. The riots remain the largest civil and most racially charged urban disturbance in American history. The exact death toll during the New York draft riots is unknown, but according to historian James M. McPherson, 119 or 120 people were killed, although other estimates list the death toll as high as 1,200. Violence by longshoremen against black men was especially fierce in the docks area. While the rioting mainly involved the white working class, middle and upper class New Yorkers had split sentiments on the draft and use of federal power or martial law to enforce it. Many wealthy Democratic businessmen sought to have the draft declared unconstitutional, while many Democrats did not seek to have the draft declared unconstitutional, but they helped pay the commutation fees for those who were drafted. The commutation fee was a controversial policy during the Civil War that allowed men to avoid the draft by paying a fee of $300. The fee was criticized for being a rich man's policy and for reducing the number of men available for service. Despite its controversy, the commutation fee remained in place throughout the war and was one of the most hated policies of the time. The draft riots were complex, anti-black, anti-rich, and anti-republican. From an assault on draft headquarters, the rioters went on to attacks on wealthy homes, then to the murder of African Americans. The riots were initially intended to express anger at the draft, but they turned into a race riot, with white rioters attacking black people. So by the afternoon of the first day, the rioters had turned to attacks on things symbolic of black political, economic, and social power. They marched through the streets, forcing factories to close, recruiting more members of the mob. They set the city's black orphan asylum on fire. They shot, burned, and hanged African Americans they found in the streets. Many people were thrown into the rivers to drown. The New York draft riot was also closely associated with racial competition for jobs. Northern labor feared that emancipation of slaves would cause an influx of African American workers from the South, and employers did, in fact, use black workers as strike breakers during this period. The draft riots in New York City represented a serious, if brief, threat to the Union. Although events during these four July days played out on a local level, their implications were national. Failure to enforce conscription would have starved the Union Army of much needed manpower, and the riots demonstrated the depth of opposition to the war effort in the North. The riots also highlighted the racial tensions that existed in the North, even as the Union fought to end slavery in the South. While the New York City draft riots were the largest and most well-known, there were other cities that experienced similar disturbances during the Civil War. These riots were primarily driven by working-class and immigrant anger at the draft, 
and the fact that wealthy men could buy their way out of it. The riots caused significant property damage and required military intervention to restore order. Hey guys, are you enjoying the video? If you are, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to watch more videos like this. Okay, let's get back to it. The Boston Draft Riot of 1863. The riot started on July 14, 1863, when two federal draft agents, David Howe and Wesley Hill, were making their way through the north end of Boston to serve the first draft notices. A woman began yelling at the two agents near the Boston Gaslight Company in the north end, which was a working-class Irish neighborhood, which drew a crowd of angry men. The crowd grew larger and more violent as the day went on. The rioters were primarily Irish immigrants who were angry about the draft and the fact that wealthy men could buy their way out of it. They saw the draft as a violation of individual freedom and civil liberties. The rioters attacked draft offices, destroyed property, and clashed with police and soldiers. They also attacked African Americans who were seen as competition for jobs. The riot lasted for three days and resulted in the deaths of four people and the injury of many others. The riot was eventually quelled by military intervention. Soldiers were sent in to restore order and prevent further violence. The Boston Draft Riot was not as large or as destructive as the New York City Draft Riot, but it was still a significant event in the history of the Civil War. The Detroit Draft Riot of 1863 was not a draft riot, but a race riot that was sparked by a dispute between a black man and a white man over a job. The riot occurred on March 6, 1863. The white man accused the black man of taking his job, which led to an argument between the two men. The argument quickly escalated into a fight, which drew a crowd of angry white men. The white men attacked the black man and then began attacking other black people in the area. The rioters attacked black people and destroyed property. Like in other northern cities, many whites resented the government's military draft and black people, largely from the south, who had arrived in town. The local Democratic newspaper, the Detroit Free Press, frequently ran articles accusing African Americans of causing various problems that mainly affected the city's working-class whites. The newspaper promoted the idea that freedmen leaving the South would take jobs from white men, which contributed to heightened racial tension in the city. The riot lasted for two days and resulted in the deaths of two people and the injury of many others. As a result of the riot, the city established a full-time police force. It was dominated by ethnic whites into the late 20th century. This became a civil rights issue, as the city's minority population had been closed out of the force. The Chicago Draft Riot of 1863. Racial tensions also played a role in the Chicago Draft Riot. The city had a large population of Irish immigrants who were competing with African Americans for jobs. The Irish immigrants were angry that African Americans were being used as strike breakers during this period. The rioters were primarily working class and immigrant men who were angry about the draft and the fact that wealthy men could buy their way out of it. The use of African-American strike breakers increased the probability that a strike would turn into a race riot that would require state intervention to restore order. The Chicago Draft Riot of 1863 caused significant property damage. The rioters attacked draft offices, destroyed property, and clashed with police and soldiers. The exact amount of property damage caused by the riot is not clear but it is estimated to have been significant. In conclusion, the draft riots were controversial events that had a significant impact on American society. They were driven by opposition to the draft, racial tensions, and property damage. The riots required military intervention to restore order and raised questions about the role of the military in domestic affairs. The riots highlighted the deep divisions that existed in American society during the Civil War and had a significant impact on the draft and the war effort. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end. Do you have any information you would like to share? Do you have a subject you would like us to cover? Please don't hesitate to let us know. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, so you will be the first to know when we drop a new video. See you in the next one.